Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a Netflix phishing campaign. Over the past few days, a number of media organizations have reported on a pretty widespread Netflix phishing email that allegedly has affected over 110 million victims. The information for this email comes from a company called MailGuard who found this phishing campaign. What's interesting about this campaign is the phishers use some pretty sophisticated techniques to make a pretty legitimate seeming email. However, they make one big mistake that just ruins the whole thing. Long story short, these phishers use email templates to send the same email to many different victims, but the template also allows them to customize certain parts of the email, like the dear customer to reflect your name and of course the recipient address being your email address. However, the fishers behind this email campaign messed up in a number of ways. First, the email does not have a legitimate sender at all. On top of that, rather than saying dear Corey Nockreiner or your name, the email actually just says dear name, name being the placeholder for their template. So because of these basic mistakes, it's pretty easy to recognize this email right away. That said, the rest of this template is pretty legitimate legitimate looking. It uses good language. It looks like it comes from Netflix with the proper marketing assets. And basically the email pretends that your Netflix account has been suspended. Now, of course, if you click on the link in the email and enter all your information, including your credit card details to reactivate your Netflix account, really you're getting fished by these particular criminals. But hopefully no one will do that because it's pretty obvious that this email with no sender and with the mistake in the email template is not really from Netflix. More importantly, if you hover over the links in this email, you'll see they don't go to netflix.com or any real Netflix domains. In any case, most mail security products are probably already filtering this email for you, but if you see any weird emails from Netflix saying your account is suspended, definitely don't click on them. And even though there's nothing too special about this particular phishing campaign, I thought I'd cover this story just to remind you some of the basic anti-phishing tips. When Whenever you're looking at attachments or links in email, you should definitely hover over the links and make sure they go to the properties you expect. More importantly, I actually recommend against clicking links in email. If something says it's from Netflix, just manually go to Netflix when you want to reactivate your account. That way, if it's a fake email, you'll be able to find out right away that your account still is active and you won't click on the bad link. Anyway, just thought it was an interesting Netflix phishing campaign, and if you get any weird account suspended emails, you probably want to avoid it. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.